Hey guys, I'm back here for our third installment and today I'm going to talk to you about Delta Drain. Delta Drain is a dimple sheet with a heat bonded geotextile that is heat bonded already to the dimples. So essentially the car product is the same as we discussed last week which was Delta MS, which is this brown dimple sheet. And then you have the geotextile uh, heat bonded to the dimples. Both products are installed completely different ways. So Delta MS, if you remember, we install it with the dimple spacing the foundation. So you only create the air gap between the foundation and the soil. So if water manages to penetrate, it will stay on the dimple side of the Delta MS and by gravity drain down to your drainage tile. With Delta Drain, you install it with the flat side against your foundation. So what you would have to do, you install your damp proofing, or waterproofing on the foundation first. It can be spray applied, trowel applied, peel and stick, whichever you guys choose, whatever is available in your local jurisdiction. And you install it with the flat uh, sheet against your waterproofing and the geotextile spacing you install it. You install it with the same fasteners that we use for Delta MS, which you will put your Delta the fastener in. It will take your hilt, your track pass, or that that you have developed, push it in, and fire a concrete pin in. So that's one option. The other option is we have a product that is called Delta Grip Fastener. And this product has a adhesive on the back, as you can see. So you would adhere it to your waterproofing and then puncture the drain board right through it. This way you never actually puncture the waterproofing membrane, okay? Uh, as we know, a lot of people right, right now want to insulate, a lot of people want to, let's say, insulate the basement, so they insulate from the outside. So you have your waterproofing, let's say, on your foundation, you put like uh, some type of uh, rigid insulation, then you put your drain board on top of it, and we have another different fastener for that, which is called Delta Screw Fastener, which is this fastener over here, which is a plastic screw that you use your cordless drill in to punch it through the geotextile through the drain board, and then you drive the fastener into the rigid insulation. Again, you never puncture the waterproofing. So this is a ideal situation. You have your drainage, insulation, and waterproofing. With the, because of the drainage and the dimple sheet, this way you, you relieve the hydrostatic pressure quickly from the foundation because water will be able to penetrate and drain down by gravity. On the top of the product, uh, you see the geotextile that extends beyond the membrane. So what you would do, you fold the geotextile like this, put delta monster in and put concrete pins in eight inches on seven. Nice and tight, it uh, pre prevents any debris from getting behind the dimple, onto the dimple sheet and clogging up the drainage pipe. Same product you would use as your vert vertical termination. It's imperative and it's very necessary to make sure the drainage path is free. If it's clogged up, it's not gonna work. This is for my assistant. Again, when we get to the bottom, excuse the noise, you bend the product 90 degrees. So you have your drainage tile right here. You, you backfill against it, water penetrates the geotextile, follow the dimple core to your drainage tile. You're gonna relieve the hydrostatic pressure quickly from your foundation. So that's why you wanna bend it 90 degrees on the bottom of your footing. When you get to the corner, and bend the sheet quite nicely. And this is because of the offset dimple design that we talked about last week. You put a fastener or grip fastener, whichever one of the fasteners that you choose, keep it away and it's nice and tight against the foundation. If you insulate it from the, from the outside, so you have rigid insulation and you have delta drain standing off at least two inches away, we have another component that you can use, which is a plastic piece like this. Comes in flat stack. So as you can see, you have see those ridges along the, that are made in the product. So this, you bend 
for the thickness of the insulation that you have. And this way you top off, top off the product and prevent any dirt and debris from getting behind it. Again, you can do that also with prevent aluminum that you can probably you know, get somebody to bend it for you, but it's necessary that you maintain that gap free from any dirt and debris. And that is all I have for you guys. And remember, you can reach us by email or by phone. We are still here working for you guys. And if you have any questions, just drop us a line. Thank you very much. Take care.